So when we were destroyed, guess what we started thinking? We started thinking Jesus is white. Go to Revelation 1.14. We started to think Jesus is white. The white man is superior to me. I'm inferior. I'm a Gentile. I'm a nobody in the earth. I have no self-esteem. My self-worth is on, I only have self-worth if I blow my hair and I start to lighten my skin. That's what we started to think. Right. We started to smoke black and mouths. Right. We started to drink alcohol and abuse these things. You see what I'm saying? Come this on. is what we started to do because we felt like we wasn't nothing. nothing. But God said, you're the greatest people ever to walk this earth. Right. That's what we teach you. So read this. Now, what is the killer of Christ? Because the Bible said you'll be broken in your mind to where you would think, hey, I don't know what Christ looked like. But it's been here this whole time. But what your Christian pastors have not done is teach you the truth. We out here to teach our people the truth. Yeah. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hers were white like wool. So now, if you got any discrepancy, all of that should be cleared up. Because we go to the source to find out what does Christ look like. That's the question everybody got. They say, well, you never seen him. Nobody ever saw him. But read it one more time. What it said? His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the white man would tell you, hey, nobody saw him because his head and his hairs was white like wool. Cool. And wool is the hair of Negroes. Right. Is it not? Right. Is it not? Do you agree? I agree. Wool is the hair of Negroes. We agree, right? right. Come on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ drank wine in moderation. Christ understood that he was the greatest creation on earth, and he didn't abuse alcohol. He did drink, but in moderation. Come on. And his feet like unto firm bread. Now, the feet was like brass. So now, the top of your feet, it's the same thing as your hand, all right? So the top of your hand is brass colored. What color is that? The right. top is brown. Right. Brass is a brown color. Come on. As if they burnt in a furnace. Now, if you take this skin color, you stand on the sun too long, what you gonna look like? <laughs> Black and black. You're going to look black, black, black. Black, black, black. Exactly. That's, That's right. what we're showing our people is that Jesus is a black man. That's right. Thus saith the Bible. That's right. So now, why is it that everybody has an issue? My man, what's going on? What's, you got a question? Do you agree with what we're saying right now? What we're reading out the Bible? All right. That's fine. You don't have to. You can stand there. You can take this in and absorb it. Because I know our people have been taught a lot of things about this Bible. Come on, but what really? we want to do is show you that. Christ was a black man, and that he only died for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's you see right. what I'm saying? Right. And everything else that we've gone off into is us following the other nations. Right. And when we did that, we stepped far away from this book, and now we accept their way, and we feel convicted in our mind and say, well, hey, uh, you know, if I hear anything else against what, what, uh, what, I, what, what I'm brought up to believe, then uh, it, can't, it can't be true. But we ask you to say, can you refute these things? That's the question. Can you refute it? Because it's all in the Bible. Go to Luke 21, 24. Go. Let's see. Let's see what happened to God's yeah, people, the Israelites. Let's see what happened. You got it? Come on. Come on. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 24. Uh -huh. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. So oh. Christ is talking about his people. All right? I need you to listen. I need you to listen. Christ is talking about his people will fall by the sword. Do you see that not happening today? You see it. You just saw what happened in Buffalo, New York. You tell me what happened. You tell me what happened. All right. What happened in Buffalo, New York? When Peyton, uh, what's his last name? Peyton, uh, whatever. We know. We saw the picture. We know who it was. We saw his agenda. He drove 200 miles to kill black people. Bring it out. I'm... And you telling me that, that there ain't an enemy in this world? That we need to open our eyes and see who the enemy is and stop looking at your brother as the enemy? We need to know who the actual enemy is yes. and not the person out here trying to yes. be good for you. That's the problem with us as a people. We look at each other and say, oh, yeah, you a nigga, you this, you that. But we don't realize the value that we can gain from one another. And that's what they bred in us with the Willie Lynch. But we got to come out of that mindset. Christ said, what will happen to the Israelites? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. So now, if you got an issue with the Old Testament, we can bring it up to New Testament. He said... His people will be led captive into all nations. How do you get to all nations if everywhere is divided by water? That's a question for you. How do you travel over water? I understand that. Our brothers was here. But we, if your, your father so-called black man? Your father? Yeah, yeah, because he's an Israelite. That's why I say so-called. He's the greatest people ever created. That's why I say so-called. You royalty on this earth, that's why I say so-called, all right? Yeah, so now, what we're showing our people is we traveled across bodies of water. 
This is actuality. How, you know what I'm saying? This, this is irrefutable. These things happened. This took place. They have documents showing we were stacked on ships like sardines. These are actual pictures of what took place to us. We got to accept these things and understand why they didn't happen. Because of our disobedience. Because we don't want to do what God say. We don't want to uh, uncover our head when the Bible coming out. We don't want to follow orders. You see what I'm saying? We are rebellious people. We want to defile our temple. We want to lay with as many women as we can, have a bunch of kids and don't take care of nothing. We want to run around with guns and straps and make music shooting our brothers down. They talk about these things. They call our women bees and whores instead of building them up and calling them princesses. You see what I'm saying? Calling them beautiful. Telling them that your natural hair is beautiful. That you don't need to wear pants to show off your body to every man. Because when every man see you in pants, what they think? I just want to hit that. Let's keep it a hundred. We was out there too. We saw the apple bottoms and the juicy couture jeans, all that. We seen it. You see what I'm saying? But now we got the mindset to say, no, it's time to take care of our wives. That's why we walk around singing those songs. So that our people can get it. You see what I'm saying? That's the purpose of what we're doing. So Christ, read that one more time. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Uh -huh. And shall be led away captives into all nations. This is the part, come on. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. So Christ said, this is the clue. Jerusalem is going to be walked about with Gentiles. So he said, if my people aren't there today, Gentiles are in the land. We already identified that the Israelites went through slavery. They were bought on boats all throughout the world. Who does that identify with? My brother, who does that identify with? Exactly. Showing us that we are the Israelites. That's our nationality. Yes, That's what God calls us. And let me show you what God think about you. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's get this now. Because it ain't out here just to bash our people. We know about the problems. But now we want to show you the healing that God has within his Bible. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art the holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord called you holy. Listen to the words he, he used to describe blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He said holy. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. He called you chosen. Come on. To be a special people unto himself. He called you special unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people that upon the face of the earth. And he said you are above all people on the face of the earth. Bring it out. So you got to let that marinate. You got to let that sink in your mind. Because what they teach you out in the world. You ain't nothing more than a drug dealer, a thug, a nigga, a, 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 a jailbird. That's what they call us, super predators. They look at us with all manner of evil, but when it comes to them, as in the case of old Peyton that just shot up 10 black people, they walk him out peacefully. But let the cops get caught on us right now. They showing up with hands on the gun. How they do Tamir Rice? They pulled up within five seconds. They ain't even, the damn car didn't even stop. Bring and they out. jumped out and shot my man. 12-year-old boy. You got to think about these things. This world don't love you, but God do. Read that again. For thou art the holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people. But how do you get to that mindset? How is it that we got to get our minds right? Go to uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 55 and 6. I think it is. Isaiah 55 and 6. How is it that we get the mindset that God will approve of? Because he gave law, statutes, and commandments. We can agree on that, right? So if you are God on earth, you have to take orders from a God to keep that status. You see what I'm saying? If you want to be a God on earth, how are you going to do it? You're not going to get it from nothing out here from the white man, from these other nations. You got to go to the source of godliness and walk your life like this. Read that. I said 55, 6. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So that's what we have to do. We have to seek God now. While he can be found. You see what I'm saying? Because there's coming a time when war is going to come to this side of the world. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Russia, China, North, uh, North Korea, they all have nuclear capabilities, all right? They call them ICBM missiles. Those things can travel intercontinentally. That's a big-ass word, I know. But it means it can cover a long distance, meaning it can hit here. You see what I'm saying? So what is it that's going to protect us from that? Because the white man, as we see, he's not going to protect us. 
keep passing in the ghetto and in the hood and said, hey, y'all do what y'all do. I'm going to put guns in there. I'm going to put alcohol. I'm going to put abortion clinics. I'm going to put all this in there so y'all can destroy yourself. So it's clear. He's not going to take care of us. But God will. That's what we got to understand. Read this again. Seek ye, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So the time, that time is now. That time is now because you see your brothers on the street teaching the Bible as it's written. We ain't doing this for money. We ain't doing this for uh, following or gathering. We want sincere souls, you see what I'm saying? To keep the commandments of God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.